Hey y'all, welcome back for another episode of Uncut Gems with Slim. I am your host, Slim Roche, and I'm super, super excited that you made it back to the podcast for yet another gem we drop in this week. Y'all know if you listened to last week's episode that we are talking about boundaries. For those who don't know, May is Mental Health Awareness Month, so I wanted to touch on a few like tips and tricks that I've learned along the way that has helped me maintain a good love, a good mental health i guess presence i don't know my mental health is very stable um and has pretty much been in a great place and i feel like boundaries are a big part of that and so last week we talked about boundaries in the workplace and how you kind of need to put certain boundaries in place to make sure you maintain a certain level of sanity um, or a certain level of peace. And so this week, first of all, where are my mothers at? Happy Mother's Day, shout out to moms. Um, for those who don't know, one of my life goals is to be a mother. So shout out to y'all because y'all be making some sacrifices. I ain't ready for that yet, but you know, when the Lord bless me, I'm gonna, you know, make them sacrifices. But anyway, shout out to all the mothers, shout out to Mama Slim, shout out to Grandma Slim, shout out to all my aunts and all my, my grandma, shout out Grandma Tani, shout out all the mamas, okay? We appreciate y'all. What you what you do does not go unseen. And for any mother, I know some mothers that I know of, like they always have this idea that when they make certain decisions, like they don't want to feel like they're being a bad mom. And if you ever have the feeling that like your decision might make you feel like a bad mom, if you're even thinking that you're already thinking about like trying to be a good mom. So I don't want you to ever feel like you're being a bad mom just because you made a certain decision that your child might not have liked or something like that. Like be confident in how you were raised or how you've grown up to be and be confident that you can be a great mom because you are. Um, so shout out to you, shout out to all the moms. Happy Mother's Day, y'all call your mamas. I know some of y'all, y'all don't be calling your mamas often. My mama called me about three times a day. So shout out to Mama Slim. But anyway, back to the boundaries. Since today is Mother's Day, I figured we should touch on boundaries when it comes to family and family members. And I feel like a lot of times, like we let stuff slide because it's family, especially like if you're doing business with family, it's nine times out of 10, you let more stuff slide just because it's a family member. Um, and today we're here to talk about different boundaries to set up when you're dealing with family. And one thing um, that I mentioned when Mama Slim was on the podcast a few weeks ago or in, in March, was that you have to be able to separate the bloodline with them actually being a person. So say if you're in a situation um, that deals with your family, maybe you need to have a boundary where it's like, you know, if it gets to this point, I have to treat this person as a person and not specifically like as my family. So for example, my sister's a dentist. If y'all didn't know, Thick Lene is a dentist. And like, because of that, people, you know, your distant, twice removed cousins will come up and be like, hey, I need you to work on my teeth or whatever, because they trying to get something for the low or for the frisky. And it's like, at when it comes to certain things like your business or something um, with family, there's a boundary that needs to be in place there where it's like, you know, maybe like for me, if I had a brand or a company or something like my immediate family, AKA Thick Lene, Mama Slim and Papa Slim, like, yeah, they, they'll get some benefits, but cousins, aunts, uncles, all of that, like there has to be a boundary because if not, I know a lot of people who've done interviews who are like rich and famous now or they're wealthy, they say like a lot of their money goes to supporting their family, which I'm not saying you're not supposed to help your family if you're in a position to do so, but don't let your family, it's easy for your family to low key take advantage of you and whatever your financial stability and all of that. Um, it's easy for them to sometimes take advantage of that. And they might not even know that they're taking advantage of it because you might freely give it to them because you have it. So you just need to have boundaries in place where you're not just like, 
letting everything slide, giving away all your coins to people just because they're family. Because at the end of the day, they're people too. And sometimes they don't make the best decisions. Sometimes, you know, they are gonna use you um, and things like that. Not that I have anybody in my family that be using me, but I'm just here to talk about the boundaries that you need to have in place when it comes to your family members. Um, and then, let's see, what else? Ooh. Another boundary which is very important is when it comes to your personal life. So I feel like um, as an adult woman, um, there's times where I feel like, you know, my mom, she can share something with me as an opinion, but I have to have a boundary up to where like I can hear the opinion, but it's not like everything she says is what I do or everything she says is my opinion because I'm my own person. Um, and so, and I'm not saying that she tries to put her opinions on me, but I'm just using this as an example of where you should have a boundary when it comes to people pouring into your personal life. Um, so like say if your mom or your dad, like they have an opinion on every single thing that you do, you don't have to specifically like, whatever they say, that's what I do because you're not them. Y'all are not one person, y'all are two separate people. So you can take, what I do is when my mom tells me something, or my dad gives me advice or whatever, whatever, like I take it, pick from it. It's just like if somebody give you a plate at the cookout that was at already like, they put everything on it and you just go to the end of the line and you pick up a plate instead of telling them what you want. And then when you get down and you sit down at each plate, you like pick out what you eat. Like, mm, I don't like potato salad, but I'ma eat this macaroni. Or I don't like this and I'ma eat that. And you pick out the things that you want. That's how you need to do when it comes to advice from family members. Pick out the stuff that's applicable to you. Pick out the stuff that you agree with. And you can also pick out the stuff that kind of challenges your views, but it may be relevant. But you don't need to just scarf down the whole plate of food just cause it's what they said. What they eat is what you eat. That's not how it works. So make sure you have a boundary up there. Y'all, I am going off the dome. Y'all know I'll be rambling, but I feel like boundaries are very important and something that's like, like I said, help me have a grip um, and be level-headed. I actually think that wraps it up for um, boundaries for family members. I don't want to take up too much of y'all time today so y'all can hang out, honor, and celebrate your mothers. If you're a mother, chillax, hang out, you know, enjoy yourself, and pat yourself on the back, treat yourself. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there's any other specific boundaries you want me to talk about, please let me know in the comment section below. If you're listening via podcast, shout out to you. Thank you for tuning in um, on all podcast streaming platforms. And if you're watching on YouTube, shout out to you as well. Make sure you're subscribed. Follow us on Instagram at Uncut Gems with Slim. And that's all I got for y'all. I love y'all so very much. And until next week. If you enjoyed today's episode, be sure to subscribe to the podcast and feel free to connect with me on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube at Slim Roche. That's S-L-I-M-R-E-S-H-A-E. Links will be listed in the show notes. And until next time, love yourself and be you, Tiffle. Need to play